channel today we do have a new vlog coming and it is sponsored by dossier perfumes they were nice enough to send me another they sent your girl another bottle of their high quality low price fragrances so um as you guys know from the other um video they do come in this box um and always says iconic scents designer quality no markups okay period um, and this time I did choose to get the Oriental Sage, which is also my scent of choice today. So this is what the bottle looks like. I did receive the Oriental Sage, which is supposed to be the Tom Ford fucking fabulous. Okay, so I'm gonna spray it on. It lasts all day. I have been using it. You really don't need a lot. So I do want to talk a little bit more about this product. So this is the Oriental Sage with top notes of bitter almond, sage, lavender. And the middle notes do include leather, leathery notes, orris, vanilla, and the base notes is amber, blonde woods, and also tonka bean. I love tonka bean. Um, it is, like I said, inspired by Fucking Fabulous by Tom Ford. And the concentration is 18%, so it lasts for basically all day. Um, so yeah i love this perfume i love dossier company thank you so much for sending your girl another box of perfume because i literally use it all the time like i'm not just telling you guys this because they sent me something like i literally use this perfume um and also i do want to let you guys know that the oriental sage is unisex all tom ford is unisex so you can wear it um you can buy it for yourself or for your boyfriend or husband um so yeah, like I said, thank you so much Dossier for sponsoring this video and let's get right into the vlog. I also want to let you guys know that I do have a discount code for you. I will link it down below and also across the screen so you can save you some money off your first purchase with Dossier perfumes. Like I said, girl, it is totally worth it. You can smell like Tom Ford for a fraction of the price. So yeah, let's get into the vlog. Welcome back to another vlog. So right now... We are about to run some errands. Well, Nani's going to eat with her dad. Why do I have to go to my dad? Well, he wants you to go eat with him for a little bit. It's like an hour. An hour? I'm just going to a few stores. And then we will be back together. Then we're going to go to dinner, remember? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I'm just running a few errands. And... I'm going to take you guys along with me. I'm not really, I'm just looking, honestly. I just don't need to buy anything else. I am just um, <clears throat> tired of being in the house, honestly. So, I'm going to check out Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and I might um, go to, I don't know why the lighting is like this. I might go to, um, Alta to get some more tea hut scrubs and some skincare stuff because in the last vlog I was telling you guys my face is like not giving what it's supposed to give the acne I don't know I don't usually have acne like this so it's really bothering me I need to figure out what the root of the problem is um so yeah that's what we're doing today so I will catch you guys when we get to the store you guys they have the army planes out well the war planes I don't know what they're called but I think they're actually out because it's September 11th. So September 11th was a horrible accident that happened in America. Um, so September 11th of 2001, the Afghanistan army, well, I don't know if it was the army. I can't, I'm sorry if I'm misinformed, but um, basically they attacked America. So they flew two planes in the building at the World Trade and um, killed thousands of people in New York City. Why did they do that? Um, because they were upset with Americans and um, it was just basically a war going on between Afghanistan and America. So they flew two planes into the World Trade Center and then they um, did I miss the turn? Mm. They flew two planes into the um, World Trade Center and then they also flew a plane into the Pentagon and then another plane was supposed to be hit in Pennsylvania 
um, but the passengers on that flight fought the guys that hijacked the plane and the plane ended up crashing and just killed the passengers on board with that so that's September 11th I, it's a lot I know it, it's horrible so many people died um, that day so today is September 11th so we do want to send our condolences and our prayers to all the family families that were affected by September 11th and all the families that lost someone um because it's really like it's really something that is historical to America um so yeah that's the history lesson for today for the kitties um it's crazy because I remember September 11th. Um, I was in fifth grade. Fifth? Mm hmm. I was in fifth grade and um, we had to leave school early because, like I said, they crashed into the Pentagon and that's in Washington, D.C. I am in Richmond, Virginia, so it was fairly close. They didn't know what was going to happen, so they sent all of us home. Um, and it was I just it was just so scary like we because we just didn't know if they had more planes um, you know if they had more planes coming anywhere else in America so yeah that's crazy right yeah. so I guess because we are having issues again um, with the soldiers going over I don't quote me because I really don't know like I don't know but um basically today is September 11th and we are going through some things with a different country so I guess they're just probably taking precautions to make sure everybody is being safe um and staying safe so yeah I just wanted to show you guys the planes I'll be back when I get to They got all the snack foods, y'all. Like, they got all the snack foods for the low. Like, <laughs> Dunkaroos. The Dunkaroos. Well, I mean, I'll show y'all when I get home. But, um, girl, this is my new little spot. Because y'all know me. I don't care how much money I got. I'm going to get a bargain. And that's on everything. I got a three pack of toothpaste, the 3D Crest white toothpaste for $7.99. Like, girl, what? Girl, that should have never bought me in this damn store. I feel bad for leaving this cart right here, but I'm not walking all the way back down that hill. Y'all, when I say that place, like it reminds me of like big lots or something like that place is lit okay i got all the snacks like for under 20 dollars like and they're like costco size like boxes it's crazy like i couldn't pass that up i couldn't pass that up i girl hmm and i got me some game I got me some gain laundry detergent. The ones that be like $7.99, girl. I got that for $3.99. I got Dove soaps, like a three-bar Dove soap pack for $1.99. Girl, fuck that. I'm in this, I'm in this jank air week. Do you hear me? I'm so excited because bitch, I love to save me a goddamn coin, okay? I love to save me a coin. So, yes, this is about to be my places, girl, looking at me like I'm crazy. This is about to be my spot, y'all. Like, y'all, I don't think y'all understand. Like, when I can get a whole bunch of shit, like, for the low, like, girl, that is a dream come true for me. It's giving save a buck, ho. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but, yes, so... Yep, I'm about to head back down to sh the short pump area and go to the mall. I may treat myself to something from Sephora. I want to see what H&M has to give. I want to see what the 
mm, what am I feeling like today? Hmm. We ain't got that. I don't know why I'm acting like that. We ain't got shit in that mall. <laughs> we ain't we ain't got nothing in that mall i do need like some basic clothes though like i just i mean i just need like a few t-shirts maybe i don't know i'm just gonna go look okay so we're just gonna be shopping all day until i go out to dinner huh i'm not feeling my baby here today it's giving naps it's giving kunta kente that's what it's given mm. but yeah let me go look at this picture so i can edit it and post it for the gram if you don't follow me on the gram it's kiera so posh i know my intro says otherwise but i'm giving you the tea right now it's kiera so posh on instagram so i'm about to edit these pictures post it for ig because i have a new vlog coming out today at 4 p.m and I need to give them something so that they feel intrigued to go look at the vlog, basically. So yeah, let me do that and then I'll holler at you guys when I get to Shark Pump. Okay, so I made it to Marshalls. I'm so pissed off because I just rode all the way back there to park my car and there's parking spaces right here. What the freak? So hopefully Marshalls has some cute little basic stuff that I can just wear around the house or like running errands. I threw all my clothes away. She saw me walking, why would she ride that? Yeah, so hopefully I can find some little cute basic layer in here. The line is so long. Damn. Oh, cute. Oh, cute. Lonnie loves these little face masks. Okay, I didn't come in here for this. I came in here for the clothes. You guys, I found this cute two set, right? It's really cute. It has like Aspen on it with the shorts. But I don't know. I feel like that's more like in the houseware, but I could run errands in it, so that's cool. Um, I'm not seeing anything else, really. Oh, I did pick up some jeans, but I'm not sure if they fit. These little jeans. I'm not too sure if they would fit, though. So these are the jeans. Okay. Everybody's looking at me crazy. This is actually really cute. Jacket. Wow. This is really cute. I'm not gonna hold y'all. And I hate to be this person. But somebody under arms is wanging in this joint like dog. It's it's okay to get me sick to my stomach. Like that's how strong this shit is. I keep trying to avoid it and it keeps coming back around and around and around. So it's I'm I got to go. I got to get the hell out of here. You guys look bad. It's giving Bottega. Okay, it's only twenty dollars. I don't know if I really like this, this strap thingy on it. And then, like, the chaining is a little cheapy. I don't mind cheap, but I don't want it to look cheap. Yeah, this is giving plastic. I can't, I can't go out like that. Okay, so I'm back in the car. I did a little more shopping than I should have. But it's okay because honestly, I have no clothes. When I just moved, I threw away all my clothes. I literally have so many bags and so many shoes and nothing to wear. So I feel like it was okay for me to splurge a little bit 
you know, on myself. I went school shopping for Lonnie already, you know, because school already started. So she has a whole new wardrobe. Her dad bought her a whole new wardrobe. I bought her a whole new wardrobe. So it's like, it's time to get something for Mama Bear. It's time to get something for Kitty Boo. Okay. So I got something for me. And I got some cute ass stuff. Like I got some two-piece sets i got a sweater i got some adidas like track pants sweatpants you know to run errands in like all the stuff i got is really to wear errand run errands because i honestly have so many going out clothes i but i don't have any regular clothes like no clothes to just like chill run to the store you know like i don't have no like i don't have any type of chill outfit so i think i did a good job with that I got dinner at 5.45, it is 5.02. I'm gonna run to, hmm, I went to, so I'm gonna go to, I went to Marshall's, I went to Ross. I'll probably go like, I just need like some t-shirts, like some cheap t-shirts, like I don't really need like the expensive t-shirts. I wouldn't mind an expensive t-shirt, but I don't need it right now. So yeah, I'm gonna go to one more store before 5.44 to see if I can find me a nice little, maybe like four or five t-shirts um and then i'll be done i'll be done with what i with you know shopping for this week i'm not gonna do any more shopping i've been shopping 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 school shopping home shopping grocery shopping like i've just been shopping a lot a lot so this weekend is all about what i want to buy so yeah i'll catch you guys at dinner okay guys i'm back at short pump mall i was here in the last vlog but i'm here again because um i didn't get a chance to go to really any stores because i had on like this <laughs> this hoodie zip up with no shirt under it so i couldn't take it off it was so hot and then it started raining so i'm back here just you know oh it's a girl look at god it's a parking spot right here yo i found a parking spot right in the front look how close i am i'm this mall. close to the mall it's it was amazing anyway i'm about to go in here i may not record because people in here be weird with the vibes and recording so i'm gonna if i can i'll record if not i'll see y'all at home and show y'all everything i got today i kept asking myself why do i not come to h&m anymore maybe it's because the fucking customer service sucks and also when i get to the register don't freaking ask me am i paying with a card how about asking me how i'm doing today see that's why i stopped coming to h&m because it's it's just ridiculous see, as soon as you talk about that story now i gotta give up so, i don't know if i'm gonna be going back there but i did get the t-shirts that's all i went in there for anyway i could have gave my coins to target Lonnie clearly stood me up. So Naomi's coming with me. And yeah. So I'm at dinner. <laughs> We're at Fun Time. <laughs> There's so many people. We got our drinks. Thank you. Cheers. Tea. Oh, I pour some in yours. There we go. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Really sour. And it's kind of strong. It's really good. It is kind of strong. I'm going to have to take a sip of water with that. I'm glad I ain't park where I originally parked there. I had to move. <laughs> where was that? Too close to a car. Imagine if you Yeah. So, yeah. Medium well. Same, medium well as well. Man, for you, steak, chicken, I think, shrimp, or chicken. Okay, he's doing his thing. He's doing his bug double. Woo! <laughs> Okay, 
you guys. So I told you guys I was going to show you what I got from Ollie's. Okay, so Ollie's is the bargain store that you can get all types of household stuff for the low. So the first thing I got is these Rice Krispie treats, the birthday cake. This is $1.99. We got the 16 pack of the strawberry pop tarts for $2.69. I think these are for you. Yes, these are for me. Then my favorite snack, Dunkaroos, for $2.49. And there's six of them in here. This is something I like. Then we got the Ritz Cheese Crispers, six pack for $1.79. I got me these little hand towels for the kitchen. Some soap. Got some Dawn soap. Well, I got this one too. Yeah. For eighty nine for two dollars. And then the big one is eighty nine. Uh, the little one is eighty nine cents, but it looked like it spilled out. I look kind of empty. Two packs for ten dollars. I got a three pack. Oh, I thought it was seven ninety nine. Well, I got a three pack of the three D white brilliant toothpaste for nine ninety nine. Ten dollars. I got I got the two pack Dove soap for one sixty nine. I got the Gain um, washing detergent for three forty nine. So yeah, that was a good deal. Bring that too. Then so I went to Marshalls and I got Kiwani some masks for school. Ooh, pretty. And then I got these Adidas pants. They were on sale for $20. And then I got this two-piece little loungewear set. It's like shorts and a hoodie. Honestly, the girl didn't even ring up the two-piece set. So I only paid $25 for this. So you guys, the Ross stuff. So Ross is lit, okay? Cause I pay, uh, I pay forty dollars for all this stuff, basically. Yes, yeah, so and I got a tank top from Ross. So I got this little pullover hoodie with the shorts to match. Another loungewear set or okay. like a running errands type of deal. Mm -hmm. And a little. And then I got this sweater cardigan for fall days. Oh, it's a two piece. <laughs> Then I got like this two piece little set with the leggings. Fancy. It was actually very cheap. That's why I got it. Hmm. And then I went to H&M and just got a basic pair of jeans, which was $20. I hope they fit because they look too small. But you know what, honestly, I wouldn't be mad if I had to take them back because I could use that $20. <laughs> you take this back, give me my $20. <laughs> my $20. I got this black t-shirt. I forgot all about that, Lonnie. You were supposed to remind me. I forgot. A white t-shirt. And another V-neck white t-shirt. So I got all this stuff for under $100. Like, literally, all of this stuff was under $100. Like, wow. I'm amazed at my old self, actually. And yes, guys. I am the mom that borrows your money that your grandma give you for birthday. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna borrow that twenty, and I give you that. Or will, you? Or will I? Exactly. <laughs> and they need to go to other things that you don't even know about. No, but this time I really just needed to borrow it. I forgot to give it back to you. Okay, so you guys, it's the next morning. I do have on the outfit that I bought from, where did I get this from? Marshall. Yeah, and Lonnie got on her dress, her tie-dye dress. So we're kind of twinning today. Yes. And so, yeah, no makeup today. Just don't feel like it. Um, we're going out to eat. So we're going out to eat. Just gonna put my earring on. Do not drink this. It has no flavor. Okay, so we will holler at you guys when we get to the destination. I can already say I'm gonna be hot in this because I'm already sweating. Well, you guys, I'm addicted to sparkling water. Like, it just tastes so good to me. Lonnie does not like it, but it is so good to me. It has no flavor. 
it just gives you like a sprite taste with no sugar it has no flavor it is so good so, so we made it to the restaurant wait a minute Hi to the, you want to be on the vlog? Oh, yeah. Okay. Look, it's my special weekend because both of my friends wanted to hang out with me. <laughs> I went out with Naomi yesterday. For real? And now, oh, to Hibachi. We went to the Hibachi place. So I got this watermelon margarita. Friend got her. What flavor is that? Strawberry mango? Strawberry mango. Say mango. And yeah, it's bright. Okay. <laughs> and we've been crushing these chips and salsa. Yep. So I'm filling my drink and I'm filling my sprite. You ain't filling the damn thing, but caffeine. <laughs> I have on this asking shirt that I showed you guys in the other vlog or whenever I showed it to you. Um, super cute and chill. It's actually very lightweight. It's not really that heavy, like I thought. We're just waiting for our food. We're She just can't get enough. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, my God. All you need is chicken. Everybody does. <laughs> I, I don't know how to play chess. Well, somebody has to be on the white. You want to take a picture? They was like, ma'am, you gotta come back another day. It's an embarrassment for me. I wasn't that late. We ended up in Claire's. I would love to get those for you, but your dad said you can't have them. But these really aren't that bad. They look like paint. Look yeah. at these little press ons. Oh, yeah. I like long ones. How did it stick on? I don't care what her daddy says. She's gonna get these buttons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why are you more excited? <laughs> oh, a diary? Yeah, it's so cute. Do you want it? Yeah. Okay, you can put this in here. And you can get one more thing. Because it's clearly meant to be if it's 4K. She want to be a kid so bad again. Look at her. Friend. <laughs> she want to be a kid again. Don't fucking judge me. You're so excited. I was. I was about to get it till it was $20. Oh, look at these little press -ons. Okay, Claire's. Mm. I like these little ones. With the drip thing on. Okay. I cannot be guys over here. I'm your five. Um, what's it called? Mini bag. 
Okay. Yeah. Is this oh, I can tap to pay? Yes, Look at them Good. It do smell good. Don't get that on my lip to touch it. But it do smell good. Oh, we got the high intensity one though. Yeah, I like the high intensity one. Mm. So I just came from the mall again. And I bought me some candles because I just got back home. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I went back to the mall. Again. So, and the leftover food from the oh, candles. So, I got four candles and five hand sanitizers. Hey, y'all. So, I got mahogany teak wood, which is my favorite high intensity hey y'all um i got two of these y'all can get some of these at bath and body works here for you. Please. two of these and then i got champagne toast mm, it smells okay i got I'm not paying no money this week. Eucalyptus mint. What are you saying? Well, then stop being a saying. And then I got these little mini hand sanitizers. I got five of them. Hold on, Sunny. So I'm gonna put the candles back in here because I still have so many back in the woods candles that I haven't even burnt yet. And I'm just gonna keep this in here and put it on the sink so when I run out, I can put it back in here. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna get today. What's up guys? I'm back. Um, so today, you guys remember in the last vlog I got this um chicken parmesan stuff. I think I'm going to make this today. And I just got home from school. And Lonnie just got home from school. She's doing her school work. And so, you know, we don't play about school, okay? We're going to get those good grades, y'all. So, anyway, yeah, I'm going to cook that. You forgot your um, hand sanitizer, Lonnie. Oh, yeah. It's the other blue one. Chris yeah. Morton. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna, hopefully this chicken parmesan is good because sis is hungry. I really haven't really ate all day. Um, Did you pack lunch? No, not today. So, um, oh, you guys. So, Kilani was nice enough to help mommy with the dishes yesterday. However, I can't get the top out of the sink. I don't know how to get it out of the sink. Oh my God. I don't know if I should call maintenance or I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out how to get that out of the sink because, because yeah, that's kind of in the way. Okay. So, yeah. I also want to show you guys something that I got today. So I was at Walmart on my lunch break. And I found this cute little doorbell camera thing for our front door. So I'm going to put this up um, and see what it has to give. I might as well just open it now. Let's see what it's all about because I've been wanting a little doorbell and this was like 
maybe 30 bucks. So I know it's probably not good quality, but I don't know, can't really go wrong for uh, $30. Okay, so boom, home secure, that's what it says. And then, oh, it's bigger than I thought. This is really cute. So this is what the little camera thing looks like. But I guess, I don't know. Okay, so yeah, I'll figure this out in a minute. I want to talk about something though. Um, I'm just so irritated. I'm very irritated because it seems like people literally will. Let's see. Yeah, this is better. So it seems like people are just so like. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out why are you knocking something if you're just going to do it anyway. I can't stand for somebody to ask me a hundred questions, okay? A hundred questions. And then I tell them, I explain how it was done, blah, 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 whatever the situa situation, whatever the situation may be. I do all that for you to downplay it. Okay, you downplay it and then just for you to go ahead and do what the fuck I just said anyway. Or for you to act like one thing I can't stand for, someone, for me to do something or I'm, I'm telling them about something I'm excited about. And then they act like they're not excited and then they just fucking, they try to do it anyway. And then try to make it seem like they didn't like put you down for that shit. That gets on my nerves because honestly, you're, you're going to get dubbed for that. Like for real, you're, that's whack. Because if you like it, just say you like it. Don't act like you don't like it and then do it and act like it was all your idea. I don't know. It sounds petty, but like I'm getting so fed up with people doing that to me. Like people will really knock what I'm doing and then turn around and do the exact same thing. Like sis, if you're inspired, just say you're inspired. Like I don't, I don't really understand why you have to be so whatever. It's so weird. But I just went through that today and I'm just sitting up to my, I'm just thinking to myself, I'm just like wow you are truly inspired by me like it's crazy like i really inspire you and you know what i'm gonna just take that as a blessing because you know it's a blessing to be an inspiration but just just don't act like you don't like it the first time it's just that simple don't act like you don't like it so then when you do like it I don't have to be like, well, damn, the bitch just said she ain't like it or she just ain't like it because I was doing it. That's what it was. Have y'all ever, comment down below if y'all ever had that, like you had a friend or someone, whoever you're around, you had someone that just hated everything you did because it's you doing it. But then when they do it, they want you to be all gun ho for the fucking talent show. Like, no, we're not doing that. And I'm not, it's just not happening. Okay, so the homework is done. You read Dog Man. What happened in the book was the dog man was sleeping. Friend brother dog. Steven. Oh. Yeah. So why don't you just say your dog? Ah, okay. Because they don't know if, that, if that's going to confuse them. So yeah, y'all. I'm just like, girl. That's what we're not... We're not doing that in 2021. We're not. We're not. It's too much money, too much opportunity, too many places to go to be worrying about what little old Kitty is doing. Because Kitty's fine. Kitty is fine. Y'all need to worry about what y'all got going on instead of worrying about what the fuck I got going on. Like, that's what y'all need to be worried about. But anyway, <laughs> not y'all, but the, 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 the ones that don't support me. Like... I can't stand for like somebody to act like they support me, but really they talk shit about me or they don't really like care about it. Like, and that's fine. You know, I, I don't expect everybody to give a freak about what I got going on. That's okay. I'm not asking you to care about what I got going on, but I'm asking you to stop acting like you care 
about what I got going on, and then you doing other little sideways stuff. I don't know. I didn't know what to say, so I just put that. I didn't know what to say right there. You can just say my dog. Ah, okay. But then I have to erase the rest of it to put this stuff. That's okay, well, just leave it like that for now. But next time, it's not. You need to ask for help. And meet is met. So M E T. Okay. So yeah. I'm about to try this um, little doorbell thing out, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I put the doorbell up, guys. It's really, it looks very expensive, but it's really not. It's like I said, $30. It's great. Now, it's not a video camera. It just takes pictures of motion in your um, on your front door. It's not a video camera, though. Um, so if that's something you're looking for, then that's not what you're going to get. But if you're just looking for something, but if you're just looking for something that would notify you like while you're out and you have like a package coming, at least you can see who has delivered the package. And if somebody is coming on your doorstep, it takes very clear pictures. Um, so I think I got my money's worth for the $30, child. I don't need all that fancy stuff. Mm -mm. all right y'all i'm gonna end the vlog here i know i look crazy but it is what it is um but yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here and i will see you guys next week